welcome to my channel welcome to another day of um opening this is day 15 and i had gone to do something and yeah excuse me right day 15 for me is the flat envelope there we go it's a pattern <coughs> This completes the trio. I haven't looked up what it is yet, but I can at least put that piece of paper down. Mm. And Sophie has whatever she's got. She's going to be devastated. She's some more chocolates again. All right. What? She really doesn't care about this. She really doesn't care about this? Okay. <laughs> right. No, I said, can okay. we even care about oh, this? Oh, can I even care about this? Right. Are you going to bed now? Yes? Go to your room. Bye. Nice. Oh, okay. No, they don't go in your bedroom. They don't go in your bedroom. Right. Back to the admin calendar. Um, this is Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery, and they have done Peace on Earth. And you know what? This is not something I would ever have thought was going to be the pattern. Okay, so it's peace on earth. You've got the house, you've got the plants, you've got the birds, you've got the colours. And if you remember yesterday, these are the colours against the called for um, colour of linen. And this was Marbled Pointer by Zhu Design. Uh, day 15. The blurb says, what a wonderful sentiment to ask for this holiday. Laurie has designed this piece, especially for our nice list. Stitchers by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. Um, so I was actually going to try and pick a stitch to start because I finished Sophie's one and there was something else that I wanted to do for Christmas piece. I can't for the life of me think of what the heck it was. Tomorrow is something quite heavy. Can't wait to see what that is. Um, I'm not going to shake it and rattle it or do anything else on camera. And um, what happened today? Uh, today was actually um, a day at home. Um, Sophie's been coming down with cold. Um, and um, then, of course, at the same time, I happened to get a visual migraine, which means I can't see. So that was kind of get on top of treating that one. And um, we just chilled for the day. Um, in the afternoon, when we were both feeling a bit better, we went out and we got some greenery for the paddies. So they're pen is not full but it's got an awful lot of greenery now in it and um, they were all pretty chuffed to be able to have new nibbles um, I tend to pick them up from wherever I can um, in different locations each time to get them used to a different diet depending on the variety and then the variety of where they're actually going to be going as well I'll probably get closer to the time when they come to release but Joey season as it is, I've ended up taking on another two. And the first one came from a vet, suspected broken leg. Um, she's been anesthetized and she was dropped off to me by a brand new rescuer. And I'm getting another one tomorrow, which um, is being held by fellow carers and rescuers nearby. So I'll get them. So, yes, it's um, increasing the brood. I don't know where Indy is. Indy is running around. He doesn't like the smell of the vet. He sniffed the new girl who is actually going to be called Sophia or Sophia down. And um, he didn't like the smell of her. So I'm trying to get her used to my smell. Um, and she's in a pouch that they normally use. So she's getting used to all of those different smells. And we'll get rid of that whole vet stink. Um that puts most pets off, to be honest. Um, anytime my cats have been to the vet, they usually get shunned for the 24 hours afterwards because they don't just, they just don't smell right. Um, stinky anesthetics and cleaning fluids and everything else that you get in the vets um, is pretty gross. Um, I forgot to mention though, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and ring the bell for notifications. These videos are going up daily and um, yeah, uh, it's going to be a bit of a vlog as we go. Hello, Indy. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hop. Come here. I know. I don't have her. <laughs> you don't see these. They, they will actually jump.
from the ground into my lap and they land like a feather on my lap. Um, Indy actually sat on my shoulder and fell asleep last night. Um, it was all kind of cute. And, oh, oh. He hops at my feet. It was hilarious this morning when I got up um, and I let them out of their pens two at a time so I could feed them with that frenzy. Uh, I actually ran up and down the house and had them chasing after me to get their legs stretched. It was lots of fun. Um, Hill. He's the best. Yeah. He's going to be alright. I'm not as sweaty as normal. Yeah. You right? Now, tonight I was watching. Oh, what was it called? Nope, not that one. Um, a Christmas. Oh. Um, a Christmas, a Christmas, a Christmas. Oh. Bunnies. Yes. Christmas Operation Christmas Drop. If you haven't already watched Operation Christmas Drop and you do like your Christmas movies, this is probably the closest that you're ever going to come to having a Christmas down under. Um, Alexander Ludwig is the male protagonist, and I burst out laughing when I heard his version of Jingle Bell. Was it Jingle Bells? Yes, Jingle Bells. Because it's even better than the Aussie version that I've heard. So um, I can't, I, well, I could potentially link it, but I will share it on my Facebook page um, or maybe on some stories because it was just the funniest thing ever. It was like, oh no, it was Deck the Holes, not Jingle Bells. Deck the Holes with so, or deck the legs with lots of sunscreen was one of the lines and it was just like oh my goodness like we don't have the snow in Australia we'd be lucky if it gets cold enough in Australia to do that in the hell. Um, so the song was just particularly fitting for here too and it's set in Guam they actually filmed in Guam and it Operation Christmas Drop is a real international thing um, that they actually facilitate. So um, it's too late pretty much now to get on board for these kind of projects. Because, but I have been involved with Operation Christmas Child and they actually get together and prepare to leave Australia, I think around about the July, August at the latest. So these kind of things have to happen logistically way in advance to be able to get things like presents, toys, paper, pens, whatever crafts, whatever normal things they actually need in each of the communities. And it was said in the follow-up that they serve as something like 2 million nautical miles with the Operation Christmas Drop that's done between Japan, Australia and the US <coughs> and the Air Force. Everything that's used to pack the boxes, including the parachutes, gets recycled by the locals. They use everything. Um, so nothing is wasted by getting the resources. Um, he's just the sweetest. None of the others really do this, just, just Indy. It's, it's very him. And it's terrible from a wildlife point of view. He won't do this with anyone else, though. Um, but your buddy, you gotta get used to. Oh. Not to be humanized. Not, not, not quite like this. He needs to be bold and free. Anywho, um, so yeah, lovely, lovely film. And of course it got people thinking about family and um, that kind of thing and giving people a chance to. Um, right, that's enough of the, the mushy stuff. Silks for you, the and more. Oh, help. Oh. 
Ah. Right. Silks for you. Day one was this gorgeous color. Day two, no, that's day three. Where's day two? Day seven, day three. These are quite small. Day two is not so small. It's squishy, so it's another hang. Right. Oh, that one was easier to open. This is another organza bag. Mm -hmm. It seems to be bigger though. These colors are gorgeous. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. Okay. These are <laughs> silks number two and number three. And they are purple and burgundy. Aren't they gorgeous? Don't you dare. Excuse me. So there is number one, number two, and number three. Silks for you, from what I can recall of seeing um, Flick and Chloe opening theirs, I don't think there's a pattern in here. In saying that, there is something large and flat at the bottom of the box for like day 20 something. Um, or, you know what I mean, the date rather than the, the final day. Anyway. So these colors are complementary. So if you have, and if you <coughs> have never seen these, ink circles actually have a couple of patterns. I think there's a whole set of them where you choose your own colors like a choose your own adventure. And the idea is that it has a, a common theme. So you have a light, a mid and a dark in the chosen color and you get this beautiful mandala that just blushes out from a light into a rich color and they are gorgeous so tracy um tracy horner um tracy is the designer behind ink circles and the choose your own color so it's a cyo or choose your own i think is the um kind of phrase that you might want to do to search those I think she's only got like a dozen or less in the choose your own colors and um, they're specifically designed for you to play with your color palettes. So if you've got stash like this, it's, the silks packages are so good from that point of view, because if you get um, the color of the month in the silk club, you actually get a five piece ombre, like it's, it's 10 meters of each. And you get an ombre whereas if you get the color of the month it's or some the other the silk of the month it's anything off the shop and that's replicated then in larger batches but the color of the month is a specific color for that month and it's the ombre kind of shading um in that so if you want to go check them out um i will make sure the link is in the videos including the silks for you if you want to go and buy anything from the vault on the Black Needle Society, please go and check out the vault. Use the code PIPPA, all in caps, and the number five, or any of our other reps that you want and um, that you know. So um, there's a few of us out there if you're interested. Uh, we don't get anything for that. It's it's just a 5% discount that you guys get. Um, so it goes towards shipping costs or anything just to, you know, help. So there's that. So we crack on with number three and it's teensy i'm not going to squeeze it too hard to figure out what it might be but it's tiny so interesting okay i'm going to go and take his lordship he'll follow me i'll go make a tea and then we'll go and have a snuggle on the couch he's he's behaving like i would expect a sick paddy to be but no he's, he's just smoochy um, this is him just quiet and chilling and um, yeah he's a live wire other than this um, he just he likes the snuggles that's that's all I can say and they're very very welcome when it's just me on the couch um, and so he's in bed Ooh. Yep. Out, out, out. there you go um, yes he's my special one though he is my special one 
Indiana. It's in for some big adventures. And the little one that we've got, she's an S. Sophie was thrilled. She wanted to call her Sophie. And I said, no, we have a Sophie. So she's actually, yeah, Sophia. So, yes. And then tomorrow, I don't know if we're getting a boy or a girl. So we'll figure out what we've got. What are we up to? Um, 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 we've got Hiccup in the Indy. H-I, so J. No, we had a J. Um, J didn't make it. K. Ooh, K. Hmm. Calvin. No, let's see. Kelvin? I figure it out. Stop. Okay, that is time for me to definitely go. All right, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ring the bell for the notifications, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.